Yo, Louis Spears, Crystal Bagel Boss. Hey, Louis. The Maryland uprising has begun. So you're saying you're the victim of bullying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mind games, being used, bullying, it's over. I'm not taking it anymore. It's over. That's why I snap. It all built up, and I've, I've had enough. G'day, cunts. Welcome back to the Review. I'm your host, Lewis Spears, and my brand new tour, No Slide Season, is on sale right now. Here are all the dates and all the places I'm going to, and the tickets are going fucking crazy. Melbourne has almost sold out. All of the major cities are filling up now, so grab your tickets because you don't want to miss out on this shit. It's going to be brand new and fucking awesome. Now... With that out of the way, it's time to get into today's video. If you've been on the internet in the last month, you know all about the bagel boss. You're great women, why is that okay? The great, why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites, you should be dead? That's okay? Dude, you wanna step outside? You wanna step outside? You shut up, dude. Just like, no, go ahead and attack me, big dog. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just wanted bagels. This video has gone absolutely mental online. It's got millions of views. Everybody's talking about it. And in most circumstances, when a public freakout video like this goes viral, the person in it goes into hiding because they're incredibly embarrassed but not the Bagel Boss. And you know what? I have to give the Bagel Boss some credit because what he's doing takes balls. Owning it, I wouldn't do that shit. Lord knows, if I got the shit kicked out of me by a man twice my height in a bagel store because I was screaming about getting rejected on dating sites and then someone filmed it and put it on Twitter, I wouldn't start up a Twitter profile. I'd move to the Himalayas, buy some stilts and start over again. He might not look like much, but Chris Morgan, the bagel boss, is a man of integrity. He has his conviction. And like most dwarves, he's incredibly stubborn. Because not only does this fight video exist that's going viral and floating around out there, someone else took that. Whatever. Who cares? But Chris Morgan, the bagel boss himself, has several other videos that he's uploaded himself to his own YouTube channel of him berating staff members that ask him about his height. Shut your mouth! You're not God or my father or my boss! Let's have a look at one of those videos. Here's my favorite one. This is Chris Morgan, the bagel boss, yelling at a 7-Eleven worker who asked him how tall he is. And in this video, he gets so angry at the guy that he calls the police. Okay, I am sorry. I, no, I don't believe you, fuck. I don't believe no, no. you motherfucking sorry. What country, oh. what country are you from? How do you like me asking you a question like that? You don't like it, do you? Answer the question. What I'm five feet tall, 4'11". I'm five feet, 4'11". See, if you ask a man how tall they are and they give you two different heights, what that means is those heights are there to confuse you. Both of them are wrong. This guy's definitely four foot nine. You don't say hi, how you doing? The first thing out of your mouth is what's my height? See, I kind of sympathize with the bagel boss on this one. I'm a very weird height. I'm just on the opposite end of it. I'm six foot eight, right? That's freak status. I'm up here, he's down there. We're on opposite ends, but we're both fucking freaks and you just gotta accept it, bro. You just have to accept that when someone sees a freak, they're gonna ask a question, they are gonna stare because they don't see people like us every day, man. You have to learn how to process it. I wanna flip out in a shop all the time. Of course I do. One time, I had a Japanese tourist come up to me. He didn't speak any English. He walked up to me and he goes, ah, uh, he's got a camera, he's pointing at me. I'm like, oh, oh, he wants, uh, he wants me to take a photo of him. I can do that. So I grabbed his camera, I took a photo of him. He goes, no, no, yeah, I'm like, oh. Oh, he wants a photo with me because I'm so tall and he can show his family. I'm like, all right, I guess I'll do that. So I, because uh, he's, Lord knows he's not a fucking fan because I don't broadcast in Japanese. So I'm like, all right, I'll take a photo and I go to take a selfie with him. And he goes, no, no. I'm like, oh, oh, he wants to take a photo of me so he can show his family and be like, hey, look at this fucking freak I found in Australia. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I didn't want to go anywhere near him though. I thought he might have something. Giantism or something contagious. Look at that freak. I'm like, great. So I just gave him a pose like this. See, what I should have done is just flipped out and started yelling at all the women in the store. Although if I did do that, you'd probably need the mountain from Game of Thrones to take me down. 
It's easy to feel sorry for Chris, but you shouldn't because he's really making something of himself. You know, he's blowing up online, he's doing interviews with radio stations and television news networks. So today we're going to Sirius XM Radio, right? XM Radio Center. He just signed a lucrative fighting contract with a boxing company to fight other celebrities for cash. I mean, he's really killing it. He's not, he's not getting laid, you know, which seems to be the root of the problem. And well, and by that I mean the root of the problem is that he can't get a root. It's a rooting problem. But you know, he's getting money. Maybe if he keeps going like this, he'll become famous. He could be on season seven of Little Women. Fuck one of those chicks, Chris, huh? That's pretty good. Bit of cash, bit of pussy, couple bagels. What's not to love? So let's move on from the freak out and let's have a look at what Chris has done recently. So this is the interview that he did the day after the fight. I'm pretty sure it's the first ever video and I think he's planning the Manlet Uprising. But this has been going on all my life and, and you know, the manipulation, the dishonesty, I've had enough. Literally had enough. This guy's really charismatic, bro. He's so convicted, I'm kinda, I'm kinda on his side, you know? All Chris Morgan is doing, he didn't freak out in a bagel store. He was standing up against bullying. Well, well, he wasn't standing up, you know, because he's, he's, well, he's, you probably can't see it. He's like down here. So he wasn't standing up. But, you know, he, he was standing. I accidentally, I went to the woods yesterday. I was taking uh, my anger out on the trees with a bat, and I accidentally hit my, my leg. But the bruise actually went down, but I hit my leg with a, with a miniature Yankees bat. That hurt. Okay, look. Bagel Boss, I get it. I totally understand. You don't want to be laughed at. Nobody wants to be laughed at. It doesn't feel good. But you can't tell people not to laugh at you if you're also the type of guy to take a children's baseball bat into the woods and take your anger out on Mother Nature itself because you can't get any pussy. Because that is just, however way you look at it, objectively hilarious. Ah, oh, goddamn trees! I hate Mother Nature. The only thing worse than real mothers is, is Mother Nature itself. Don't laugh. This isn't funny. Take me seriously. I hate women. Chicks suck. <laughs> to this, along with 30 million other people that want me to, to interview with them, is addressing bullying. Um, it's going to end. I'm going to end it today. I'm the current prophet. I'm the current Martin Luther King. And if nobody likes it, too bad. I'm not tolerating it anymore, and nobody else should for that matter. Huh. You know, I'm not fully across my American history. I don't know too much about it. I was schooled in Australia. We didn't learn too much about it. But I don't think Martin Luther King ever screamed at women he'd never met in a bagel shop because he couldn't get his dick sucked on Tinder. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm being ignorant, you know? Maybe the bagel boss truly is the next Martin Luther King. Who knows? Who's to say? Maybe he will lead the man that uprising and help us raid Area 51, take over the planet. Who knows? I mean, all that training he's been putting in, beating the fuck out of trees with children's sports equipment, it's gonna pay off somewhere. Not in the bedroom, obviously, but maybe in battle. So you're saying you're the victim of bullying? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mind games being used, bullying. The victim of bullying. The victim of bullying. Look, if you watch the video, you started the fight, Chris. You said, if you want, you watch it, you said, Hello, sir. Would you like to fight me? I want to fight you. And then the guy went, yes, I would like to fight you. And then you lost the fight. That's not bullying. That's losing a fight. If everyone who started a fight and then lost it was a victim of bullying, that makes Thanos their mascot, you know? He started two fights in the last Avengers movie, lost them both. He must be the biggest, most purple bullying victim in the galaxy by now. And she just turned out to be a witch, so I left. So now I'm living in my van by choice. This is my favorite part of the video. It's where the bagel boss tries to make living in his van sound less shit by adding two words, by choice. It's genius, right? If you add the words by choice to the end of any horrible scenario, it makes it sound so much better. I'm living in a van by choice. Ah, oh, I just stubbed my toe by choice. I'm eating food out of a bin by choice. Oh, my wife cheated on me and took the kids by choice. I have stage four cancer by choice. Oh, I'm dying by choice. No one attended my funeral by choice. Oh, my soul has been sent to hell to burn for all eternity by choice. Gee, that sketch got a bit dark there at the end, didn't it? By choice. Oh, shush. 
Now, at this point, the bagel boss is really starting to make something of himself. Before, he was just like a little viral internet meme. But now, he's making some money, he's getting some fame, and he's even being chased down by publications like TMZ. Now, you might be wondering, what questions would TMZ ask the bagel boss that they could then turn the answers into horrible clickbait journalism that could get him in trouble and cause a controversy? That's what they're known for. Well, they just did the lazy questions. They literally asked him three questions. They asked him, Are you homophobic? Are you misogynistic? Would you consider yourself racist? Firstly, just gonna say it, who gives a fuck what the bagel boss thinks about gender equality and race relations in America? Who the fuck's gonna take him seriously? The dude is yelling at women in a bagel store because he hasn't had pussy in a decade. He doesn't have any good ideas, okay? That's not his brightest, and I don't think it's gonna get any better after that. That being said, I kind of care a little bit, so let's check out his answers. Are you misogynistic? Oh, what does that mean? Like, 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 like egotistical? No, like, um... I love that. Doesn't even know what misogynistic means. That's so good. I think we know what his answer's gonna be. But what are we gonna do, right? If he does say some fucked up shit with the next three questions, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna cancel the bagel boss on Twitter? Like, what, are we gonna get a trending hashtag going? Small body, small minding. Yeah, that'll really get him. That'll ensure that he'll never be in a movie. Like he would ever be in any movie anyway. Like what? When they remake Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, he could play grumpy? Or sexisty? <laughs> Let's keep watching. I won't lie, I, most of them, yeah, because I don't trust any of them. Is that because of experiences you've of had course. in your life? Yes, okay. that's a given. You know what, this might upset a few people, but I genuinely believe that some types of people are allowed to be sexist if they have a certain body shape. I'm going to explain that, right? Women with huge tits, they're allowed to hate men. You know what I mean? Because they would just see the worst in us. Like, there's some good guys out there, but most of the people staring down at top not our best representatives, you know what I mean? So women with huge tits, you get a pass. You're allowed to be a bit sexist. Totally get it. Dudes under five foot, again, you're allowed to hate chicks a little bit. It's like, I understand. You're not correct, but I understand. Are you homophobic? I, gays don't bother me, I can hang out with them, just like, don't touch me, especially in the private parts. Again, I don't mind this answer, that's just the typical answer you'd expect from anyone around the age of 40, which is pretty much, I don't care if you're gay, mate, I don't care if you're bloody gay, just don't suck my dick. It's like, dude, no, they, they weren't going to, you know what I mean? Like, isn't that why you were yelling in a bagel store anyway, because people don't want to suck your dick? I don't think changing the sexual identity changes that very much. You're sweet. <laughs> Lastly, are, would you consider yourself racist? No, I have black friends. <laughs> Lastly, are, would you consider yourself racist? And no, I have black stop! Friends. That's where the question should have ended. Are you racist? No, I have black friends. That's it. That's all you gotta say. Don't say anything else or you'll fuck it for yourself. In fact, you don't even need the second bit. You just go, are you racist? Nah. That's it. That's all you gotta say, bro. That's all you gotta say. You don't need to add on extra shit, because adding on extra shit gets you in trouble and might reveal something about you you don't want the world to know. Like... I have black friends. Okay. Yeah. Now, if somebody, you know, upsets me and he happens to be black or steals from me, then yeah, I mean, that word comes out of my mouth. I'm not gonna lie. Of course I'm not racist, mate. Of course! Well, unless a black guy upsets me, you know, by cutting in line or something trivial like that. Of course, the word comes out, the hood goes on, the burning cross goes up. Of course, like anyone else, of course. Or if they steal from me, which they are prone to do, of course, you know, I'm, I'm, but I'm not racist at all, I'm just your regular average bloke. <laughs> I mean, for fuck's sake, dude, if you're yelling racial slurs at black guys you don't know because they upset you a little bit, maybe the answer shouldn't be, no, I have black friends. Maybe it should have gone something like, uh, kinda. And finally, the last way that the Bagel Boss is capitalizing on his newfound fame is that he's jumped on Cameo and he's actually charging people $50 for a shout out or for a custom message. Fuck, that's, that's almost twice as much as me. And I only started a Cameo account yesterday to piss off my friend Luke by charging one more dollar than he does. Right, how and much are you? I'm 30. Right. Yeah, and you know what? This well, you know who else got on Cameo? Who? Bloody Lewis Fizz is on Cameo Oh now. no, are you on Cameo yeah, now? Yeah, and I'm, and I'm $31. Yeah, I'm dollars. There you go, guys. If you can go with your cheap $30 <laughs> Cameo segments, but they suck. What you really want is the premium $31 service from Lewis Spears on Cameo. You know, now I'm just going to up it to 32 and by the end, <laughs> we're going to be the two most expensive people on Cameo. Just to shit him, I don't care if anyone books me. 
But Bagel Boss, he's really hustling this shit and good on him. But I decided to test him. I decided to see how serious was the Bagel Boss about capitalising on his fame. What if I booked a cameo? And what if I told him to say the most ridiculous sentence he's ever read in his life? What if I got him to claim that he's the leader of the Manlet Uprising? Well, this is what happened. Yo, Lewis Spears, Chris the Bagel Boss. Hey, Lewis, the Manlet Uprising has begun. So by the time I'm done, everybody over six feet will be locked in prison. Basketball will be illegal. And I will be king. Bow down to the Bagel Boss or live to regret it. Why? You're not God, my father, or my boss. <laughs> oh, fuck, I love that video. It's so good. I'm going to wrap this up now, but I just, before we go, I have to point out Look how much he hated saying manlet uprising. Look at his face. That is the exact expression you get when you ask an 11 year old to clean the toilet. Like that's the face they make. They're like, oh fuck, I guess. Incredible scene. All right guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching and thank you to Chris the Bagel Boss for making that incredible cameo for me and being a good sport. If you want to check out what he's been doing, go follow him on Twitter, uh, and he's all over the other social media accounts as well. Uh, it seems like he's been taking this very well, and uh, he's a good sport, so check him out. And uh, also, if you want to come see me on tour, check out my tour dates here, No Slide Season. It's a brand new show, a brand new hour, and uh, it's been very, very good. I've been traveling around Australia and even New York and LA performing this show, and uh, it's fucking killer. I'd love to see you there. Tickets are really going quick now. Melbourne's almost sold out. Brisbane's filling up. All the major cities are going crazy. Um, so I'd love to see you there, guys. I meet everybody else, uh, everybody afterwards, and uh, put on a fucking awesome show. So I'll see you guys at the show. I'll see you in a couple of days with a brand new video, and I'll catch you later. Can't.